Hello, fabulous Aquarius. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of April 2020. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What a month it is, really. It is a wild and amazing month for you. There is a whole lot happening in the sky now that is set to change your understanding of yourself, of your power, and of your freedom. You may be decidedly impulsive in the first part of the month. It seems to be a key characteristic that is highlighted again and again throughout the month. Then we get late into the month and a powerful new moon activates your ancient ruling planet and your modern ruling planet in ways that leave you changed. So let's start with what is happening in the first part of the month. We are going to have a full moon right around the 8th of the month in fellow air sign Libra. That alone means you're able to tap into the energy to your advantage that much more. And this is a part of the sky that is decidedly worldly. It has to do with understanding your place in the world. Now, here's the thing though. It is going to be speaking with Pluto and Jupiter, both meeting in the sign just before yours. And this is a connection of some tension. I look at the fact that under the light of this full moon, Mars in your sign will be speaking with Uranus. So there is a surprise factor here that awakens you in some way. I would not be surprised if it felt as if you needed to do, whether it was traveling of some kind, very quickly and very much by surprise. Um, it is also possible at this time that very quickly you need to deal with a matter related to perhaps higher education, a legal matter, immigration, citizenship. Um, these are the types of things that can come up very quickly with a new moon like this. But at the same time, it looks like there's surrender on your part, or at least that's what's being asked of you, to trust the journey, to trust the process. The other part of this is a desire to travel, a desire to make a move, to make progress on these areas that I mentioned, but knowing that this is not the time, that you can't take the steps that you desire. Regardless, it does look like you're going to have to reconcile some less than desirable factors. And also there's another factor here springing you into action, inspiring you to move and to move forward in some way. As we navigate late into the month, it is going to be right around the 23rd that we are going to have a new moon. This new moon happens at the very foundation of your chart, the bottom of your sky, related to home, related to family of origin. And this new moon will be happening hand in hand with Uranus and also speaking in tension with Saturn in your sign. Both Uranus and Saturn are your ruling planets. Uranus being your modern ruling planet, Saturn being your ancient ruling planet, newly dipping into your sign as I spoke of in the Saturn special horoscope. Well, this new moon happening at the foundation of your chart speaks to very quickly needing to pay attention to matters of home. Whether that is your family of origin, your parents in particular, whether that is the space in which you live. It looks like there may be a surprise a minute and it affects things on a more practical level as well, but you are being asked to be where you are, to be present with others where possible, to accept and to know that there's so much you can do, but it also requires surrender, acceptance of what it is that you don't have control over. That is part of the larger spiritual lesson of Saturn in your sign to know what you can do and to surrender the rest. Mars in your sign right now is only accelerating the lessons of the serenity prayer right now. Grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. These are places of power. Acceptance is power. And doing what you can with what's in front of you to do and surrendering the rest, that may be part of the lesson at this time. So do keep in mind, I do like that Saturn is in your sign and it's in its home sign as well. It is a place of strength and it does suggest that there is stability within you, but there's also practicality as well and things changing very quickly. Wherever it is and how it is that you are being inspired to change, it seems to reach a very personal part of you.
If it is that you have a home-based business or like a lot of people right about now, you're working from home or you work with homes and always have, well, this is going to be a time that asks you to think differently, to do things differently. And maybe there might be some uh, technology adventures that are taking place at this time uh, related to working from home or a home-based business. Regardless, though, you will find your footing, you will find your inspiration, and you will find ways to empower yourself and to feel strong right where you are. Where it comes to matters of love, a couple of things stand out to me here. We are on the precipice of a Venus retrograde season. Venus is going to go into shadow April 10 and will officially go retrograde in May, staying in a particularly romantic part of the sky for you right into the middle of summer, an unusually long time. I'll talk about this a lot more in the Venus retrograde special for your sign, so be on the lookout for that. You'll see something posted in the first half of April here on YouTube, but at the same time, there is a sense now that with Mars in your sign, there is an awakening, there is a passion, there is a bravery, there is a determination to connect with someone else. If you are open to meeting someone new, the desire to connect with another may feel visceral, like you can feel it physically, and it may make you especially gutsy right about now. But the desire for romance will start to be felt more and more as we navigate through this month with Venus in the first days of the month, moving into this very romantic, flirtatious part of the sky for you. For those of you who are just starting to date someone, Venus's move is gonna be that much more important. It does suggest that much more romance right where you are with this person. Mars in your sign very likely is gonna make you especially motivated to connect with this person in some way, even though we are living in times of social distancing. For those of you who are in an established bond, this is a time when you may be feeling a whole lot, and especially in the first part of the month, it may surprise you and your partner um, how quick to respond, how quick to action you may feel. But for all that, Mars in your sign can awaken you in terms of your desire to connect with your partner physically. And with Venus in a romantic part of the sky for you, well, it does suggest a sincere desire to be close to your partner and to have a depth of understanding on a heart level with each other. What I love about this month for you, well, look, there's so much here, but I am going to say this overall theme of transformation that is on offer now, the sense that some of the really big and important celestial events to take place now intimately involve you, whether that's Mars and Saturn in your sign, whether that's your modern ruling planet Uranus, it is in many ways a wake up for you and a time of your life changing in real ways, you getting in touch with the truth of what really matters in life and what either never did or just no longer does. And as you get to the essence, the core of what is real and what is true, well, chances are you'll find that you've had it all along, that part of you that you love, that you respect, that you want to bring forward, it has always been there. It's always been strong. It's just that now here comes the true commitment to bringing that very brave and confident and creative part of you forward that much more. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes, including right now the Saturn special horoscopes in the superstar space and very soon Venus retrograde horoscopes as well. All of this in the superstar space and so much more. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.